Hello, today I want to talk about the source of blur that I have missed in my last video. Spooky Lua pointed this out to me and this actually does reduce blur a lot. So this is with the blur, this is without the blur. If I switch fast between these two, I think you can see that the blur is gone. Especially like up here, you can see a difference. And the best part is 52.16 to 52.16. If you look at the RDP number, it is off by literally one microsecond, which might as well be, a, which might be a measuring error, honestly, because yeah, there's definitely some measuring error in here. So the way this works is actually cursed, because this is bugged on NTSC consoles. This only works correctly on PAL consoles, usually, unless you abuse a different bug that makes the bug not work. So the way this works. There's three anti-alias modes on the N64. The first one is anti-aliasing is being run on all the pixels. This is very expensive. When that's why there's a second mode, which is anti-aliasing is disabled. And there's a third mode, which is anti-aliasing is disabled. And this blur here is disabled. So where is this blur from? This blur is from your TV, scaling the image from 320 to 240 to 640 by 480. And on the horizontal lines, when it scales from 240 to 480, it has to insert new pixels and it inserts pixels that are blurred from the two pixels bordering it. So that's why usually you see a little bit of blur here. Now when you enable this on NTSC consoles, usually your game will just crash. Or your output will look really wrong, your game will crash, it's just the output is fucked. So what do we do? Well, this is a workaround, a very hacky workaround. But it works. Just in the again. And that is... This is what they found in the homebrew server. You set the VIX scale register instead of 0x200, which stands for 320, to 0x201, which stands for like 320.5 or something, I don't know. Um, which is an uneven number and which causes the upscaling to just work somehow. <laughs> I don't know exactly why it works, but this is what you do. You, you, you set this register and you set the anti-alias mode free. And that's it. So let me know. Do you actually see the difference? Do you prefer this new one? Of course, this only works when anti-aliasing is disabled. So, if you play with anti-aliasing on, you will be forced into the source of blur. Uh, unfortunate, but nothing I can do about it. But yeah. Tell me what you think. Bye bye.